Game Changers. Community leaders speak out on infrastructure and American competitiveness. America needs to create new jobs and to remain highly competitive in the global economy. That is a top priority. People realize the critical importance to their families, their businesses, and their communities of being able to move goods quickly and efficiently to consumers. The Georgia Center of Innovation for Logistics, together with the U.S. Departments of Commerce and Transportation, are asking for public input about what should be done, and citizens across the Southeast are speaking up. Hear what a surprising and powerful base of community groups have to say. Well, I grew up in the cattle business. I'm a fourth generation Georgia farmer with over, over a quarter million or, or in that neighborhood calves going from the southeast or, or from Georgia to the Midwest uh, via, those are all shipped via pot load or, or tractor trailer. Somewhere in that 10 to 15 percent range is exported, but it, that 10 or 15 percent represents a large segment of the, of the value of the industry. Profitability for the industry is driven largely by the export market. Efficiency and timeliness of delivery is, is essential not only for getting commodities where the cattle need to be fed because obviously they have to be fed in a timely manner, but I think the most important is when we're shipping cattle. Cattle cannot sit on roads for an extended period of times without having death loss. I mean, that's the fact. It takes a lot of equipment and man hours to maintain a farm. And I would say between your Caterpillar, John Deere, and Massey Ferguson dealers and, and Kubota, your different tractor supply places, um, you know, that's another part of the industry that is, is vital to support farmers and ranchers out in the countryside. I appreciate the opportunity to visit with uh, not only legislators, but also those in the regulatory end, uh, making these decisions and, and prioritizing these transportation projects. Writing an op-ed or appearing on a, uh, a, on a television interview show is something I'd definitely be willing to do to ensure that we're able to, to move our product efficiently on, in the transportation system. Transportation is very important to our industry. Uh, the association has roughly uh, 350 members. Uh, we represent, uh, as the uh, voice of the produce industry in Georgia, roughly a uh, uh, farm gate value of uh, <clears throat> a little over a billion dollars. Most of our fruits and vegetables move uh, out of state, which means we depend very heavily on the trucking industry. Uh, over 60, 65 percent of our produce is, is exported out of Georgia. Uh, about 5 percent of our product goes into Canada. Uh, most of this or all of this is done uh, via trucks, uh, so the, the roadways, the infrastructure from a roadway standpoint is very critical and very important uh, to our growers. Uh, supermarkets have uh, plans as far as their sales, uh, what the consumer is looking for uh, in the grocery store, so it's very important that that, that, that product uh, reaches the distribution warehouses uh, when, it, when it's uh, required. Those things that slow the uh, uh, trucking companies down, uh, is, it will hurt our industry. The DAV, as a nonprofit organization, we do have what is known as the Transportation Network, and we provide free transportation to disabled veterans back and forth between their homes and VA clinics around Georgia. It's nice to see that somebody has come to the Disabled American Veterans to ask us our opinion about the infrastructure here in Georgia and around America. But one of my responsibilities is transportation, seeing that the veterans get transported to hospitals. The commander last year put me in charge of the vans for the state of Georgia. We have 32 vans presently, drive hundred about half million miles a year. We transport veterans to uh, about five different locations. We got them in uh, transport veterans to the hospital, the main hospitals, in Atlanta and Augusta and Dublin. So it's very important that we get these people down to the hospitals and to these medical facilities for their appointments on time. And when traffic is backed up, it really creates a problem because if that person can't make his appointment, then what it does, it knocks another person out. And right now with the Afghanistan and Iraq vets coming in, our workload's almost doubled in the last two to three, maybe even five years. We need to have all the jobs in the United States that we can. We need to be exporting our goods to other countries and move them as quick as possible. 
Transportation for older adults comes up in a top five issues of almost every public participation meeting, uh, survey, uh, interview questionnaire process that we have. Uh, with the um, population of older adults increasing, uh, by uh, 2030 uh, we will have one in five in the Atlanta region, 60 and over. We're realizing as well as the county-based agencies that this quickly is becoming a very challenging task as more and more older adults are in need of transportation, not only for uh, health services, but uh, accessible vehicles to get them to and from doctor's appointments. We provide uh, Meals on Wheels and we have um, approximately one million meals served um, per year, which of course uh, requires transportation to and from senior centers and other uh, facilities. 45 million Americans consider themselves caregivers of a, a friend or a loved one and 80% or more are providing transportation to those individuals uh, and having to take off work to do so, for example. This means that we're losing productivity uh, in several ways with, with caregivers providing this transportation simply because we don't have the infrastructure needed that will accommodate older adults and their needs and their challenges. I said on the Transportation Committee, in the state senate and work very closely with the local needs and state needs in Georgia. While we have fairly good infrastructure here in middle Georgia, we still have many needs yet to be met. And in this down economy and the fact that we have so many people unemployed today, we suddenly need to try to improve our infrastructure and road system as fast as we can to make sure that the industries that we have creating jobs and maintaining jobs we have, they stay with us in middle Georgia and in Georgia in particular and in the United States rather than going overseas to other countries perhaps that might have provide better infrastructure than we have at the present time. I'm very happy that I've been asked to give my opinion about the infrastructure of transportation here in the state of Georgia and that the government on state and national level uh, is interested in the perspective of parishioners, uh, those churchgoers that are here in Macon, Georgia. I would say that this is a very important priority, first of all, for the safety of our children who are on the roads uh, coming and going to school and to church uh, for our elderly who use the highway system, but also for the economic development of, the, of our community and of our state. I think it would also help our parishioners in terms of uh, new jobs locating here, industries uh, seeing the Macon area, the larger area as uh, a place that uh, they would want to bring people into and also create uh, uh, new jobs with industries. St. Paul is a wonderful congregation, well over 140 years old. Uh, the congregation exceeds over 600 persons and families at this particular time. I'm sure the congregation, uh, the congregation which I pastor here at St. Paul, would strongly uh, weigh in on the fact of the need for better infrastructure. If we want to, here in Georgia, to remain as what we refer to as the capital of the South, then we must improve our infrastructure, our highways. This is an extreme priority. It's, it's nothing that we need to continue to delay. We need jobs. Correcting and improving infrastructure leaves room for more jobs. I would be willing at any time um, to write an op-ed, if necessary, to go on any television show, if necessary, to promote the fact that we need to strengthen and make our infrastructure here in Georgia much better than what it is presently. Unincorporated South Fulton is um, 106 square miles, which consists of uh, 10 fire stations. Uh, we have uh, right now 154 firefighters. 75 to an upwards of 80% of what we do is emergency medical. Uh, so you're talking about life. When I look at a, the optimal response time, we would like to base it on what's the cardiac survivability of our patients. Any, anytime anything slow your uh, response and, and definitely congestion is one of those things. As we look at better engineered roads that will allow for traffic to flow freer, 
which allow people to get out of our way to get to, so that we can get to where we're trying to get to. Overall, within our association, transportation and moving product, uh, whether it be roadways or through ports, is, is very, very important to us. Uh, that's the only way we're going to be able to get our product off the farm and to the consumer. Transportation uh, and moving our, our product and our commodities is important enough that we would definitely be willing to, uh, to approach our congressional representatives and speak out to the media about the fact that this is an area where we have to have an efficient transportation system to be successful in our industry. 75 to and upwards of 80 percent of what we do is emergency medical. Uh, so you're talking about life. We don't want to leave any veteran behind in this whole state of Georgia. Our, our goal is to provide medical service and get every veteran in the state of Georgia treated as soon as possible. I'm so excited that the government, the state officers and the elected officials are taking the time out to hear our concerns. When I say our, I mean the people of the community that walk the streets, that drive the roads each and every day, that board the planes each and every day. Not only just hear them, but act upon them, but make their communities better because once again, infrastructure is about giving the community what it needs to survive.